feelings going into this this matchup with San Francisco? I feel good. Uh, we get to get in today, get a plan down pack, and see what coaches have planned for us to do. How did that game um, the other night kind of increase the confidence of the uh, of this team? What can that team? What can that performance do for a team moving forward? Are we very confident? No matter who we play, uh, we just we know the game plan. We know the men we have in this locker room. We just want to go out there and execute, and we know we play for each other, and that's the that's the main part that we play for each other. We love each other, and we go go out there and give everything we got. Ty, I know you weren't here last year for that playoff game, but it's obviously something that these guys have kept in their heart—the resilient thing coming from that. What's the sense that you've gotten from the teammates as far as approaching this game and how they've maybe learned from that last game going into today? Uh, we want to get it back. Uh, and that's our main thing. We want to get it back, but also we got to play within, play within ourselves. And you know, it's gonna be a physical game. They're a physical team, and we got we know that we got to withstand what they bring, and we got to go out there and try to get the crowd out of the game early. Although it's been a short time, talk about the rapport that you built with Dak and the work you guys put in. I would just continue to grow. You know, every day uh, we continue to learn one another uh, on the field, off the field, and just continue to grow, um, knowing the spots he want me at, and just, me just getting there and just helping, helping make his life easy. When you, when you were in the AFC South, did you go against D'Amico Ryans a lot? And if so, with him as the defensive coordinator, if the defense does take on the, you know, the traits of, of their coordinator, what would that be? Uh, I think um, I went against him a lot. Um, I just I just feel like they, they same style, same defenses, uh, just different guys that's there. Um, but they're a physical team. They like to be physical. They, they're very aggressive. Um, they got a Great front seven, and they back in and play well together. So uh, it's a tough defense. It's going to be a tough challenge, and it's just something we got to look forward to. What's impressed you most about Dak in the, in the time that you've been with him? Oh, his leadership, man. He's, he's, a, he's our great leader, and we follow as he goes. And, you know, he continues to, you know, just any questions anybody have, uh, we make, he makes sure we're on the same page as him. And, you know, nothing phases him, man. He just continues to go out there and, and produce. When you approach a game that's win or go home, I mean, is it a different mindset that you have going into the game? Is that just mentally? Uh, playoffs is different, man. You just, you know, if, if you, one mistake, one critical error could, could, can cost you. And you just got to go in there and just play freely. As long as you prepare and you able to learn everything you need to, you're able to have fun and not worry about anything else, then the sky's the limit for you. Give yourself a chance. Random question here, but have you ever been a kicker at any level of, of football in your life? Ah, uh, yes, I have. When was that? In Optimus. Again? Optimus, um, part one of football. Okay. How'd it go for you there? Uh, it was good. I mean, I made I made a lot of kicks. I made a lot of game winners. So, what's up? You know where I'm going here. Right. right what about him? Struggled. Uh, mm -hmm. Maher struggled the other night. Could you kind of empathize, sympathize with what what he was going through? Uh, I mean, man, life happens, man. I mean, look at our first three plays. We had all three drops. I mean, it happens. And for him, man, like at the at the the second one, third one, I just went to him, man. Chin up, man. We got you. It's, it's okay, man. We good. Um, and just continue to just let him get that confidence. You know, all you need to do is see one go in, and he's fine. But you know, it, it happens, man. Bad, bad, bad stuff happens. But we got his back no matter what. Taking that a step further. Are you available? For what? <laughs> man, Brett, Brett, Brett got that. We good. When you think about the move you made late in the season to come here and make this choice to be here, how? Uh, important do you think it was that you made the right choices to be here? I was, it was very important. Uh, just took my time with the decision and let God step in the right way. And he brought me here for a reason. So, um, you know, just continue to follow his plan. So what, what do you make of the short week and they have the extra two days of rest? Do you put anything on that? Uh, I mean, it's a schedule, man. What can we do? So we just go out there, be, be as ready as possible, and we go give it everything we got. Does the fact that you guys have been through short weeks before and you know how to get your bodies right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, coach does a great job with that. So, uh, I mean, we'll, when the time comes, we'll be ready.